if you've come across from a different software, you need to add in the conversion balances, so your opening balances of your accounts. So this is in the settings area. If you choose accounts and advanced, it's in the advanced setting area. It's under the heading conversion balances, which is the last one in the advanced settings list. Here you would add in the conversion date and then start adding in the balances of all of the accounts required. Uh, so in the learning guide, we've just provided you some example accounts and I'm just going to run based on those balances that we've provided. So I'm just going to, I've got on screen the uh, learning guide here, I'm just coming to the uh, table of contents and I'm just going to click through to chapter uh, 7 here. And you can see that we have supplied some example conversion balances uh, just to show you how this would work. So if you've come across from um, a different software and you've come across at the end of a financial year, then hopefully it'll be nice and clean and smooth and you will only have your balance sheet items uh, to add in. If you come in partial through the year, then obviously you're going to have your income and your expense balances that you would need to add in as well. But we're simplifying this process here and assuming that it's happened in, at the end of the financial year for the new financial year. So you come in here and I'm just going to use the business uh, bank account that's already there and the balance is $30,000. Then the next uh, account that I'm going to uh, pop in here is, I'm just going to delete this one here and um, move to accounts receivable. So accounts receivable is $5,500 balance in the debit column, accounts payable is 220. So this is assuming that you have some accounts receivable and accounts payable left owing before um, you've converted over, which can be the case. Um, and then we've got GST balance um, of 480. Uh, then we, I'm just adding a line in as I go along. I don't do show all accounts as it just gets quite messy. So I just add in the accounts as required. Uh, so loan is the next one for our list and that's at $10,000. Add a new line in again and we've got the office equipment uh, that we want to add in. So our office equipment's sitting at $5,000. We've got some depreciation on that. Uh, office equipment sitting at a thousand dollars then we want to add in our owner share so owner share capital we want to add that in at twenty eight eight hundred now if we've added in all the accounts and balances correct our debits and credits should balance and we shouldn't have any historical uh, out of balance adjustments when we're happy we hit save and then the screen's going to prompt you because we have told the system that we have some outstanding accounts receivable and outstanding accounts payable, but we haven't got that entered into our counting system to marry up with that. Now, it really depends on how much you have outstanding. If there's only a couple of invoices, I say to just add it in here on screen. So I'm just going to say this is one invoice here that's owed to us. So I'm just going to go add invoice and add this in now. So fill out the information based on your previous software. I'm just going to pick anything. We're only training, but as I said, you're grabbing this from your previous software. Um, I'm going to put the reference in that I need and I'm going to issue this um, saying that it was um, back in whatever date that was required for my balance to be appropriate. I'm putting in the sales information and putting in the balance. I've come back into the conversion area. So that was under accounting, advanced, no, chose conversion balances. And now it's told me that I've still got outstanding information. So if I click the save button again, it will then ask me to complete the bills information. Um, so I'm just gonna close off this created expense claim information and I want to create my own bill uh, so I'm just going to go add bill here and add in this missing bill again this is just coming from the software that you transitioned across from I'm just going to put anything but you're grabbing this from your AP information and filling it out based on 
that content. So I've filled out all the information and I'm going to save this uh, bill entry in. Perfect. So now it said I've matched this so I can hit the next button and it's going to update that information. And now it's saying my balances have saved. So I can now lock my uh, conversion balances in and I'm happy to start working away in the file knowing that the information I have is correct from conversion. Let's go back to the dashboard.